Hey there, welcome again. We will continue now with inserting the logo and making a nice looking straight connector which will underline the logo and the overall design. So I grabbed the logo, I just made a sample logo out of a icon and some text. In case you wonder how I did that, I simply took an icon from iconfinder.com and as you see you can find files here which are completely free for commercial use and you have no copyright issues. You simply, when you search for icons or for some other designs, you go for free and you type in the license for commercial use. And you can find, without any trouble, much nice graphic files to use. Okay, we have a sample logo and once I edit the logo, I immediately rename it to logo. So it will be easier for us to edit it. I felt like it's a little bit too plain. There's not much going on on the screen, so I designed a nice straight connector which will underline the entire logo. And you can do this too if you have another color of a logo, that's no problem. I will show you everything how to do this. Go to Insert, Shapes, and simply select a line. By holding the Shift key, I make a straight connecting line. Maybe it's a bit too much now, so I hold the Shift key once again, I make it smaller just to fit under the logo, somewhat like that. And I right click on it and go to format shape. I close up the animation so we see more. And now listen what you can do here. I go of course to a gradient fill. I don't like the basic gradient, so I make three colors. One, I position it in the middle. I select of course with the eyedropper the exact color of the logo so it remains consistent with the logo. I adjust the width to be a bit bigger, maybe two points, so we have a nice big line. And as you see, it's a bit too bright. This is because we have a white color here and a blue color here. I select the white color on the left and I make it totally transparent. I do the same for the right color. Also remember to change the direction to make three colors next to each other. So now, as you see, the left and right side are beginning to fade out. Well, this can be all adjusted by hitting the brightness level. The most important thing is that it works and once you adjust the brightness to be less, you see the opacity moves to the left. I select also the left color and I turn down the brightness heavily. And as you see, we have a nice transparent straight connector, which only underlines the logo I hit the arrow keys, I see it's a bit too wide. By holding the shift key to not replace it, I make it smaller. It should just be under the logo. I hit a few times the arrow keys. And as you see, we have a nice underline of the logo. It really adds a bit of design into the project. And I also wanted to show you those few PowerPoint tricks. As you see, you can work with the gradients, turn up the transparency and make transparent objects that way. You can do the same by working with shapes. You have a shape, you color it with a gradient, and you can really, you make no outline, you can get really interesting colors by using the transparency on the left and the right. Of course, these are a bit intense. They should be white, transparent, and this already looks more interesting. So always keep in mind that these options are here and you can do such designs in PowerPoint. Now we will go slowly towards the finish of the design. Please proceed to the next lesson to learn how I want to animate the logo and please repeat all the steps I showed you here in your design and we can move forward with completing the template.